along with the motor and sensory development necessary for these milestones to be reached as social development is also tied into the process. And what we mean by that is that three months, we're starting to make deliberate responses and calm interest in other people. And this is with the ability to hold our head up, lay on our stomach, look around and visual, visualize our world. By around five to six months, when we are now able to start to actually begin to sit up, we interact more with the outside world. Emotions like joy, surprise, and frustrations become more prominent. And now we're sitting up, we see more of the world, we can turn, we can reach, we can grab things, we're much more mobile. By 10 months, and of course, in this period of time, we already started to learn to crawl, we try to understand what others are interested in. Again, as we get to explore our world, take in more input and our nervous system develops more, we are now able to do more with that system. And now we're trying to understand the people around us, not just our own primal needs. And we'll talk about primal reflexes in a little bit. But by 18 months, we are now walking, able to get around and have a level of independence that we've never had in, in our lives before. And basically what this means is we can develop self-awareness, we develop complex emotions such as pride and defiance, right? We know about the terrible twos. It's a very common time. And part of that is a developmental milestone that we all reach as we start to, again, be able to become more mobile, explore our world, and integrate our nervous system.